Aquaculture is a major economic activity in Chile. Among the diverse aquacultures practiced in Chile, Atlantic salmon aquaculture is by far the largest sector. Topic. Salmon Up until 2007, Chile experienced over 15 years of important growth in its salmon aquaculture, becoming the second largest salmon and trout producer after Norway. By 2006 Chile contributed with 38% of the world's salmon volume just behind Norway that produced 39% of it. In 2006 salmon from Chilean aquacultures was the third largest export product in terms of value, representing 3.9% of Chilean exports behind copper and molybdenum. Topic. Ecological impacts Industrial aquaculture firstly sees millions of escapee fish into the native ecosystem every year in October 2018, a major breach at the Salmon Culture Center of Punta Redonda managed by Marine Harvest led to the leakage of 690,000 salmons in the country's rivers. Those salmons were treated with fluorphenicol, thus not edible by humans. The unregulated use of chemical compounds, such as antibiotics used to prevent infections, may influence the entire ecosystem as well as copper used as antifouling. Bushman et al. 2006 and Litter Pumalin, 2008, and the loading of nutrients from aquaculture into the interior sea and lakes and nutrients from large scale mussel farms. The industry has suffered a severe recession since the sudden appearance and outbreak of infectious salmon anemia in 2007 coupled with the late 2000s financial crisis. This has led the crisis to have been labeled the perfect storm by a Chilean salmon executive. Atlantic salmon production in Chile has fallen from 400,000 to 100,000 tons from 2005 to 2010. As of 2009 a salmon executive expected production to go back to the 2007 levels within four years. The 2007 infection led to more stringent sanitary regulations. Topic. Harmful algal blooms and industrial salmon aquaculture Studies undertaken by marine biologists aim to verify the link between the waste generated by the salmon industry in the Chilean oceanic waters and the outbreak of the highly toxic red tide harmful algal blooms in the region. Following this outbreak, from 2016 and 2018, 40,000 tons of salmon was lost following fatal health issues 0.9% of the total salmons cultivated in Chilean seawaters, but salmon producers deny the direct link between their activities and the red tide outbreak. Evidence from Kamau Fjord where a harmful algal bloom caused a mass die of cold water coral reefs was directly linked to the eutrophic conditions causing HABs from the salmon farms in the area. This was clearer than the open sea being a semi-enclosed basin. Topic. Aquaculture and private property rights in the sea Aquaculture in Chile is regulated by the 1989 Fisheries and Aquaculture Law, and concessions on water bodies and other state property for establishment of aquacultures are granted by the Ministry of Defense. However, differently to any other country in the world, the Chilean government has given these marine spaces private property rights. This means it is impossible for the public scientific regulator IFOP to access the area to take benthic or water quality samples. That means through the fluid nature of the sea, the ecological impacts are felt in common while the profits are kept private by the corporation. It is hoped in the future that fair regulation will evolve, allowing greater transparency over this highly profitable industry. In November 2018, the Chinese company Joivio Group bought the Chilean salmon producer Australis Seafoods for $880 millions, thus gaining control over 30% of all Chilean salmon exports. Topic. Other aquaculture activities 
The main areas of aquaculture in Chile lie in the southern half of the country in particular in the interior waters of Los Lagos region and to a lesser extent the fjords and channels of more southern Ison and Magallanes regions. Apart from salmon and trout, Chilean aquaculture also produces turbots and mollusks, in particular Mytilus platensis still often referred to as Mytilus chilensis, northern scallops, Pacific oysters, Alacamia ater, a giant mussel, red abalone, and Chilean oysters. In terms of algae Gracilaria chilensis is cultivated and harvested, 